Hi, welcome back to our 28th episode of Mass Effect Andromeda, where in the last episode we, well, didn't really do much. We did some scanning, and the game crashed, and we, well, we got some other stuff. Our Nexus level is level 2. Uh, I kind of looked up, well, it was on like a, a note on the loading screen, where this determines on how many times we can, uh, like, Awaken crew members, so we should be able to uh, awaken some crew in this episode, hopefully, if we get to the right quest. But we're going to go ahead and... The game's kind of laggy, so sorry about that for some reason. It's been laggy lately. See, I don't know how they have the specs for the Normandy. It's I, I get it. It's... A game, but they shouldn't have the specs for the Normandy. Uh, okay, data pad. I want to talk to you, see if you have anything. The whole mood of the Nexus has changed since Eos. You really can feel it. New outpost, a Pathfinder's help, people waking up. It's a fresh start. Do that one. Can't relax yet. The initiative still has a lot of promises to keep. And that's on us. But it's damn good to know we're on the right track. A reminder to all personnel, overtime hours remain in effect. Yes, this is your place. So for some reason, OBS likes to lag my, my game sometimes. Its origin defies all known. Ryder, you're off to a promising start. I meant what I said. You are a symbol now of hope. That things will get better. Though I worry about this terraforming network. What do we really know about it? It's like nothing we've ever seen. It's clear somebody had big plans for this cluster. But who? Not sure yet, but at least we're on the trail. Did you have some other business? That's all. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. I see great things in our future. So I suggest when you, if you uh, make your character, don't make them with a scar near the eye because it messes up quite a bit. Um, well, old man, we're getting there. Yeah, you can consider me old. I'm 300 and something years old, so. Hello again. You know, I can't tell what uh, who's male or female in their species. Uh, let's talk to you. Ryder, isn't it? Kerry Tavessa, freelance fit maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Tans asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. Um... Another news reporter I'm not too happy about, but let's go ahead and see. Um, let's go ahead. You're passionate. Nice to see someone so devoted to her work. That's kind. Sometimes the camera makes people shy away from me. That's a shame. <laughs> so that's what I need. The truth, I mean. Someone needs to record the history we're making. It takes integrity to record the truth and nothing but. Well, I do my best. And you could help me out. The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? You don't mind treading on the initiative director's toes? What would he do? Pull funding we don't have? I'm game if you are. Sure, why not? Okay, interview away. Let's start at home. 14 months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? We still have to fix them. Everyone, leaders included, needs to pitch in. Let's be honest about these challenges, and how we're going to face them. 
Nice. Won't make you popular with the leaders, but it's good to hear. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. This was more fun than I expected. You were great. I'll get to work editing. Alright, uh, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and go up here. So, I just got done mowing, and it was raining. That sucks. Don't ever mow the, lo the lawn when it's raining. No, it isn't what we wanted, but what choice do we have? How the hell should I know? Spender, you have a job. If you want to keep it, do it. God damn it. Who are you talking to? You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Yes, Pathfinder? How are we doing on the viability front? Struggling. Need I remind you that viability isn't abstract. It's lives, our foothold. Get out there, Ryder. Pathfind, we're dying. How has the Nexus reacted to the foothold I've established? We send them where you signal, because that's where the need is. There's no time for preference. I have info on a specific sleeper I'd like brought out of Cryo. I want to avoid that entirely. For reasons. Reasons? That's it? Look, you're the Pathfinder. If you've a request for your extended team, that's a request you can make. Access the sleeper records through Brecker's console. It's none of my business. Until you make it a problem for me. Understood? Okay, I don't know what quest that is, but we'll find out later. Okay, um... Uh, so... Falling off the stairs, come on now, don't do that. And... Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka, C-63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Whoa, that seems like... too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and general stability, a metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. So, I decide what groups to wake up. Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things, a lines of support. You can't deploy an omelette without first deploying eggs. And eggs won't get you steak. Except it's people, and how all our lives begin. I deal in full colony blocks of specialists. I can make individual requests, but we should start the overall system first. All right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. 
Alright, well, let's see what we want to do. Any logistics update? Science, military, or... Science. Okay, I'm pro... Oops. Back. I'm probably going to do a military pod. Yeah, I'm going to do a military pod, and then I'll probably do another science pod, and then a commercial, uh, this pod. But first, yeah, I think I'm going to do a military pod, because, uh, I think that will be actually... Yeah, let's go ahead and select... Um, receive organic materials at a regular interval. Receive drops of, okay, let's move all supplies at regular intervals. Receive tech materials at regular intervals. Reveal hidden caches around, okay. Advanced training, gain temper 10% to XP for completing encounters. Um, I think I'm gonna actually do this one, because if that can counts as, like, ammo, I run out of ammo way, way too much. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one. Okay. Collect rewards. Okay, sweet. Oh, wait. Oh, so I have to come back here every hour. So, okay, so it's not like a, a like on, when you're out on a planet, it doesn't just randomly drop for you. That's what I was thinking. Okay, so uh, receive drops of consumable supplies. Okay. Uh, no more points. We'll have some more points. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, overdrive pack. SV. See, I want to get that up, but I don't know how to get that up any farther. Maybe if I get uh, Nexus up, it'll go up farther. Uh, let's go ahead and... We got some points. Let's go ahead and... Oops. Combat fitness. Um, I have eight points. What was I going to put it into? So the, yeah, that's right, the last uh, rank of Sniper. Uh, killing Spree. Um, see, that would be nice, but I don't see myself killing it, like over and over and over again. Uh, oops. Undo changes. Undo changes. So I think I'm just going to go do the flat damage. Because I think that's going to be a little bit better. Uh, combat tools, 6% combat power damage. Or max health. Let's go ahead and do some shields. Learn back. Survivability is a need. Uh, confirm. Uh, gunner unlocked. The soldier profile is now at rank 2. Sweet. Uh, so let's go ahead and go here and. Can I not? Oh, wait, no. That's. Think on like our actual, like when we're actually down, down on the ground. Uh, two points here. We can go ahead and do nothing here. Because um, it's three points or more for all the skills that she wants. Uh, three points. Power armor, we can put two in there. Or we can... I'll just put two points in the power armor. Let's learn that. And we can't do anything else with her. Uh, so... Uh, blood range, rage. We still have six points on you. Oh, that's what I was saving for you. Uh, health regeneration rate and regeneration delay reduction by 50%. Uh, damage resistance. I think damage resistance is better. Oh, okay, unavailable. Okay. 
back. Confirm and exit. Wait a second, we can actually go ahead and put another point in you, because you're gonna be nice. Shotgun damage. See, shotgun damage is nice, except for, well, I'm not a Krogan and I can't take a lot of damage. Uh, let's go ahead and go to you. Um, I can't put more points in you. Uh, let's go ahead and put uh, there. And duelist. And confirm and exit. And our last guy we need to level. Can't do anything with you. Uh, so, I want to look and see what we actually picked up. Uh, resources. Salvage. Hmm. I don't know where I actually have to get that skill up plus six points. Ooh, that's the reason why I had so many points. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Do I go down? Yeah. Um, that's not it. I want to go to, uh, to the, what is it, uh, can't even think. The guy that killed, that murdered someone, or, well, thought he murdered someone. Any logistics update but, that's any not it. So, let's go ahead and journal. Uh, let's go and escape back. Nexus, first murder, please. Back, back. Okay, so, yep, you're this way, and I need to go down. Nope, over here. Oh man, I completely forgot this was here. I hear you went down to Eos. Did you find anything to help my case? An enemy blast to the back killed the chief. Your shot missed. What? You. You're kidding me. Thank the spirits. This is great. Hold on there. The Chief's Omni-Tool recorded you over the body. Sam, playback. Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Shit. Not only did you think you killed him, you meant to. But you just said I didn't, so it doesn't matter, right? The conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. Director Tan will determine what's to be done. You did try to cover it all up. Look, I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent, plain and simple. We'll see about that. I liked how he had his, uh, well, I had my arm up. It was going through the glass. That was kind of funny. Uh, okay, so speak with Tan. Um, crap, that's way back. Is that up here? Yes. No. Yes. The heck. Uh, let's look at the map and see where it's at. So it is over there. That stupid ass thing. likes to think he's keeping an eye on us. We're seeing more and more skirmishes with the cat. Something I can help you with? Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. And we're setting precedent for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. I hear you. 
It sucks when things aren't black and white. Are they ever? <sighs> if we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? Well, he didn't actually murder. See, why, why isn't there, like, uh, an option of saying put him on suspension or something like that where he is, like, constantly being watched? It was crazy down there. Life and death. But his shot didn't kill Reynolds. We have to let him go. You're a bottom line type of person. I hope we don't regret it. All right, so be it. He will do community service for his role in the chaos, but he's a free man. Well, at least we'll have the sordid business behind us. See. Hydroponic report oxygen production is nominal. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode there. In the next episode, we'll go ahead and do some of our complete some of our missions. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.